Welcome to another video. I searched YouTube but didn't find any video about this figure. I think this will be the first. This is Helmut Thorvald a World War II German Waffen SS, Sniper. Helmut Thorvald is a 1.6 scale figure manufactured by the Hong Kong based company DID. As usual I like to change or customize the figures and as always this one is no exception. I bought the almost complete figure. I'm missing several magazines for the KR-98, the special sniper mask and the box. The Y belt were used on another figure because it doesn't seem to me that they make much sense on a sniper, as it needs to be light to be able to maneuver without much difficulty and also because the figure doesn't have the original equipment to justify it. I added a shovel tucked into his belt and a P-38 pistol to give the figure some style. The helmet is made of metal. The chicken net is original. The paintwork on the helmet is excellent and the helmet has a rough surface. The head sculpt is very good. The head sculpt combined with the body makes this figure looks like a larger soldier than usual at this scale, but that doesn't mean it's out of scale, he's just a big guy. Its main weapon is a KAR-98 equipped with a telescopic sight. It is also camouflaged. The weapon is made of wood and metal. This figure originally includes a display base, which serves as a small diorama. It also includes other accessories, such as a piece of tree trunk and a bag of sand. This set allows you to put the figure on display with several options. I don't like placing figures in combat positions, so I like to place them in a way that makes them look cool. Another option in this case is to place the figure sitting in a box. This box was made by me. I have many other boxes made by myself, but I will talk about them in another video. Did you notice the camouflage on his pants? This camouflage pattern is called Liebermuster is a German military camouflage pattern first used in 1945. It was the last of a family of German World War II camouflage patterns. The pattern, named after its designers, the Lieber brothers, was issued on a very limited basis to combat units before the war ended. It consists of bold irregular areas of black printed over brown and green on a pale background. The pattern was intended to provide some degree of camouflage in the infrared. It was the first pattern to be issued to both regular army, Wehrmacht, and Waffen-SS units. I don't think I have anything more to say about this figure. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you soon.